Hello everyone, welcome back to another study with me slash a day in my life video. I am your host Anuj Pachel and if you don't know me, I am a second year MBBS student at GMC Nagpur. I woke up at 7 in the morning and I cleaned up my room and started revising all the classification flowcharts of pharmacology which I've pasted on my wall. Doing this every day since 3 or 4 months has made them absolutely stick into my mind. My first stop for the day after revising the flowcharts of course is to start with the male genital tract and its pathologies. Well, just like the female genital tract and the breast, the most important part over here too are the tumors which can happen in the male genital tract. The book that I'm using over here is the review book of pathology by Dr. Gobind Garg. The reason why I'm using review books is because I've already done this chapter from the main book and I want to have a short summary and an MCQ point of view after reading the book. After the review book is done, I actually open up the big book and revise all the highlighted points of the same chapter and most importantly revise all the different images which are given in the chapter. This should help me clinically as well as in my pathology practicals. Again. I continue with pathology but this time I am starting with endocrine pathology and this one I am doing from pathoma. Why am I using so many resources? Well, the reason is because I have done the main book and I just want to branch out and see if other resources are good or not. Well, pathoma is very good of course. Our college had called us today to submit a few papers and the great thing about it was that I got to meet my friends after so many months. So much to do when all I can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long if i could lay down beside you i would i would when nothing really matters that's all i want to do i hope that you're safe and I came back at 2.30 and I still had some battery left in me and I wanted to use it in the most productive way possible. Well, it's afternoon and I've just come back from my college. What should I do? Of course, I'll go with marrow. The topic that I'm studying over here is from medicine. Medicine as such is a final year subject but I've started it in second year itself and it could not have been possible without marrow. The way sir has explained everything, I think that even a first year student who has had a basic knowledge of physiology can understand everything which sir is teaching us. I'm extremely grateful that I have this app because without it, lockdown would have been pretty pretty sluggish. I'm almost done with the cardiology section and I think one of the best features of marrow is that if you have marrow, then you essentially have power to learn any 
any subject at any given time and that too from the best faculties it's been over 2 years that i'm using this app and i'm absolutely a big fan of it i always make sure to take notes because later i can use them to revise and the points which are given by sir and all the other teachers are very very valuable while solving mcqs every single concept is broken down into digestible bites and that's again one of the best parts okay my next stop over here is to revise chemotherapy for specific conditions and this is a part of pharmacology so here we have diseases like tuberculosis leprosy malaria and fungal infections this is one of my weak areas of pharmacology and i wish to improve upon it again i'm using a review book because i've done it from the main book itself after being done with pharmacology and pathology now it's time for microbiology instead of reading it from shastri or any other big book i'm actually reading it from my notes and these are very very small notes which are extremely compressed forms of different pathogens so it has only four things the pathogen its mode of spread its clinical features and its treatment i think you should give it a try i have made it for bacteriology and virology as evening approaches i wish to take a break from all of this schedule and what better way to take a break than to watch the good doctor on amazon prime currently i am on the fifth episode of second season spoiler alert and i think it's more medically accurate than many other series from the past one month i've picked up a hobby of boxing and if anybody here knows how to box please do let me know in the comments i'm not saying i'm batman i'm just saying nobody's ever seen me and batman on the same room My next stop is immunology and here I am quickly revising the different vaccines and their schedules. Speaking of vaccines, when will the vaccine come? <sighs> Anyways, after all of this, I went on to do some active learning of my own and I started with solving clinical cases on the official review book. of robins you can find it on the internet and the section that i'm solving over here is hematopathology of red blood cells and bleeding disorders solving cases actually makes me feel like i'm a real doctor while still being in second year speaking of active learning another thing that i do just after this is anki and not a lot of cards today i solve only a few cards of the chapter of endocrine and female genital tract Just a random fact, I've watched Avengers and Game in the theaters four times. Well, after all of that, it's finally the last thing to study, that is marrow cue bank. I'm here solving the anticoagulants one, and it has been a habit of me to solve a couple of banks every single day. They are just amazing, and this is another feature of marrow which you should definitely give a try. This is my first time singing on the internet, so please do not judge me.
after the entire days of hard work with studying so much i finally end the day by keeping my guitar and writing out today's thoughts on my diary anyways have a good night thank you so much for watching my video it really really means a lot videos like this take a lot of effort to make as you can imagine so hitting the like button and giving it a sweet comment really really means a lot if you haven't already kindly subscribe to my channel if you find the content is useful it motivates you or inspires you and as always stay safe stay healthy and stay happy my dear friends until next time i'll see you soon